I'm on the 13th hole, a long par four, but I've pulled my second shot into a very difficult green side bunker. I've got 50 yards to the flag and it's probably the hardest shot in golf. Let's see if I can take you through the technique that we use from this sort of situation. You hear lots of people say, well, you should hit closer to the ball and that will make it come out further, but you always want to have the same divot. So there are lots of variables, but the divot in the sand is not a variable. You always want to have the same entry point into the sand, which is probably two to three inches behind the ball. You want the same exit point. The key thing here is the depth of the divot. We don't want to have the divot being too deep because this is basically a controlled fat shot. The variables are the club that you can use, also the length of swing. Now you don't want to make such a big swing that you lose your balance. If you're losing your balance or control, you're going to lose the ability to hit that sand in precisely the spot that we're looking for. Let me show you one and I'll take you through the basic technique. Dig yourself into the sand. A solid base is so important on these shots. This is a 56 degree sand wedge and that's about as far as I can hit this shot. So a pretty fair effort there. I get it all the way back to the flag. Let me take you through what I was doing there. My body on this shot is going to be really centered. I don't want to have my weight too far ahead of the ball and I certainly don't want to have my weight behind the ball, but whatever happens, I have to stay stable. That is the key. You really need to feel as though your feet, your legs and your hips are the anchor. The engine for this is really coming from an exaggerated wrist cock in my hands. That's what gives me the angle and then it's a release and you could see from this distance it was a full finish. So halfway back or three quarters back, but you must get a full finish. The common mistakes here, one, you know you've got to hit it hard and you lean forward into the ball. That's going to give you a very, very steep angle of attack. And the problem with that is you may get the ball out, but you'll never get the ball to get to the flag. It will never come out with such a deep divot. You'll never be able to get enough speed to control that distance. The next mistake is trying to flick it off the sand. Your body goes back, you let the club head go past you, and the ball takes off over the green like a bullet. So stable in the sand, all around your left foot, aggressive wrist cock, very stable in my knees, I'm turning around my left foot, the club comes into the sand, and the easiest way for me to control the divot depth is to keep my height. So my knees are absolutely vital. I don't want my knees to sag, and I don't want them to straighten, and then sag as I come down. I'll have no control over the depth of divot whatsoever if that's my technique. If you can't use your 56, if it just doesn't come out that far, I've also got a pitching wedge. The pitching wedge has got a slightly different build, much sharper leading edge, but the less lofted club here could help me get more distance. And a pitching wedge will still easily come out. Dig myself into the sand. Keep that balance. And you could see no difficulty at all in controlling that distance. So have the club as a variable. The key things again then, you must control the divot. You mustn't get a deep divot. You must keep your weight still, keep your center to the ball, keep it there so you're swinging around your left leg. Don't lose your height. Your knees really control your vertical, so don't straighten and then go down to hit the ball. It feels as though that's gonna give you more, but the angle of attack will give you such a deep divot, you'll get the ball best case halfway to the hole. So those are the keys. I hope that clears it up in your head and allows you to overcome these very difficult shots.